Hi guys, so before you watch this video, um, I like vlogged my whole like experience of school supply shopping and I was in the midst of editing this and I was like, I have way too much footage of me like shopping for school supplies and this video would be like 20 minutes long or something crazy. So I decided to just cut the whole vlog part out and just do me showing my supplies. So really, this video is like a school supply haul, but I will be uploading the vlog of me school supply shopping one day, if you want to see it. So if you do want to see it, then comment down below if you want to see it or not. I don't know. But anyway, so this is like the intro to this video because the next clip is going to be me saying, Hey guys, I'm back from Walmart, but you won't see me going to Walmart. So that's the tea. Anyway, enjoy this video. Alright guys, I am back from Walmart here in my beautiful room. So I have two Walmart bags. Walmart bags. You, I slick, y'all slick so I'm trying to try take a thumbnail, right? Okay, I have two Walmart bags full of school supplies. And I'm just gonna dig in, start pulling some stuff out, and we're gonna I'm just gonna show you guys why not. So here we go. So first thing I see, first thing I'm gonna pull out, is this nice one and a half inch, like, this. there's gonna be a nice pattern of this color here, because you guys know that is literally my favorite color, so anyway. So it's this one and a half inch binder bundle. They call it a bundle because it's a binder, but then when you open it, it's got um, tabs in it already. And I had this, exact same binder last year for my American literature class. So now I'm gonna use it for my British literature class. Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys these two binders here. This hideous green and this hideous purple, but they didn't have many color options, so I got what I got, okay? This is a one inch for one of my other classes like social studies or chemistry. And then this purple is a one and a half inch for algebra two, because I got the two biggest binders, which are two one and a half inches for British Lit and Math, because those were the two classes where I used up the most paper and stuff last year, because I used up a lot of paper for geometry last year, so I decided to get a bigger binder so I can have more space, okay? <laughs> yeah, and that one inch binder is just for like, either chemistry, social studies, or something else. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, these are three um, plastic folders. I just got plastic folders because, I mean, you can never go wrong with folders, right? And these also have the little prongs in them, which is really nice. And they're plastic so they don't rip, because the paper folders, they're cheap and all, but they rip, so I just got three of these plastic ones. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Oh, we're going, we're, we're moving through pretty fast. Next, I have these dividers with pockets. Um, these are tabs. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that, like, rainbow aesthetic. Love that. Um, it's, there's eight in here, so that's really nice. Um, eight dividers next what i see over here is um just a plain old composition book that is a really pretty color and i just i love it it's really cute it's really cute next two more one inch binders this hideous red and then this pink um okay no I tried to get like different colors of everything because I didn't want to get stuff mixed up. So yeah, I just have two more one inch binders. So like I said, it can either be for social studies, chemistry, or my arts classes because I'm taking three arts classes this year because I go to my school for theater, like I major in theater or whatever. So I have theater lit or well, theater literature. I have acting too, and then I have a TV and film class, which I 
You guys don't even understand how excited I, mean, how excited I am for that class. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna sh let those three classes share one binder. So yeah, hopefully that works out. Hopefully I don't need more space. Next, I see some glue sticks. Cause I mean, I don't know. I just got glue sticks because why not? Why not? And then I have this pencil pouch that was only 97 cents that you guys saw. We love her. Yes. And then um, just some index cards. Some nice index cards. I mean, you can never go wrong with index cards. So I just got 100 index cards. But 27 mechanical pencils here. And these, these mechanical pencils are pretty good. So yes, you see. Now, school is nasty. The people can be nasty. So guess what I got? Hand sanitizer. Usually I get like the Germex brand, but y'all, the Germex brand can be expensive. So guess what I got? Equate. So it's like, this This is actually the hand sanitizer that I have in my purse right now. And it works just as good. So I got some hand sanitizer. You can never go wrong with hand sanitizer because like I said, school is nasty, people are nasty. Next, I have just a two pack of erasers, like the big kind. And then I have this, oh, what is this? Oh, it's an index card holder, so yes. And this is like a darker blue, not really my favorite color blue, but they didn't have my favorite color blue. Okay guys, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and then click that bigger subscribe button right down there and that bell to be notified every single time that I post a new video and I will be doing video shout out so if you want a shout out in my next video make sure you comment down below that you have my post notifications on and that's it alright guys so I really hope you enjoyed watching me go shopping for school supplies and being stressed Woo. you didn't see that mm -mm. so yeah I love you guys and I know back school videos Ugh. I know, I hate them too, but I just had to film one. <laughs> anyway, bye guys!